Hi, third grade. Today we're going to read the close reading passage called Springtime Myths. Each day this week, we're going to get a different passage and we're going to read it very closely, more than one time, and looking to learn something new about the passage each time we read. So here is Springtime Myths. Myths are false stories that many people think are true. Luckily, some myths can be tested using science. Thanks to science, spring myths about lightning, rainbows, and eggs have been busted and proven false. Have you heard that lightning never strikes the same place twice? That's a myth. People have proven this wrong by watching thunderstorms. Each lightning bolt is random. There is no pattern or way to know where it will strike. That means it could hit the same place twice. In fact, some places have been struck many times. The Empire State Building, for example, is hit by lightning about 25 times per year. Lightning even hit the Sears Tower 10 times in one day. Another spring myth says that leprechauns hide gold at the end of a rainbow. This myth is false because leprechauns aren't real. Also, rainbows don't have an end. This myth has persisted or kept up for a long time. That's because people can't find the end of a rainbow to prove it wrong. Rainbows are just an illusion or an eye trick. They don't really exist. The egg myth is another one heard in spring. It says that on the first day of spring, you can stand an egg on its end. On that date, day and night are almost equal. The sun shines right over Earth's middle. Some people think this gives things better balance. However, this date doesn't have any special power. You can stand an egg on its end any day of the year. These are just a few springtime myths. Science has busted myths about lightning, rainbows, and eggs. Now we know they are false. It's always better to trust facts instead of tall tales. And here's a photograph with a caption that says, The Empire State Building above has a metal lightning rod on top of it. Lightning rods protect buildings by attracting the lightning strike and carrying the electricity to the ground through a wire so they don't do damage. All right, now if you look at the second page, we have a couple questions that we should read after or that we should answer after our read. It says use evidence from the text to support your answer. Number one, how do the picture and caption add to your understanding of the text? Use evidence from the text and the text features to support your answer. Well, third grade, there was only one picture and caption in this passage. So ask yourself, how does that add to your understanding of what's being mentioned in the text? And number two, In the second paragraph, the author claims that during a thunderstorm, there is a chance that lightning could hit the same place twice. What evidence or examples from the text did the author include to support this claim? So how do we know? Look back, it tells you which paragraph. So paragraph two is the second indentation right here. So in this section right here, how do we know? How do scientists know that lightning can? in fact, strike twice in the same spot. All right, third grade, thanks so much for joining me. Good luck.